Hey everybody, welcome to my series of videos on beginning with Martin MPC. I'm David Henry from LearnStageLighting.com and in these videos we're going to go through the M series software. Um, I'm going to be working in MPC, however note this tutorial will work um, on the consoles because it's all the same software so whether you're on an M series console or an MPC uh, rig just in your computer or maybe you got an M touch or uh, you know an M2 go attach wh whatever you got um, or an M2 PC you know what whatever you got um, this will work with Martin MPC now um, I'm recording this on software version 3.5 so um, that is the latest at the time that I'm recording this um, has the 2d plan really cool we're gonna get into that in a little but to start out I, I want to begin this series of videos by creating a new show and walking you through each and every step of that show so that um, you can see exactly how to get started um, from from absolute zero from the absolute ground level you know how do we get started how in the world do we create a completely new show and so um, we're gonna start just launched MPC right here and surprise surprise we're gonna select new show it says, would you like to create a new show? I'm going to say, okay. I'm going to call it an example show two. You can call it whatever you want. Um, whatever fits, you know, the name of your show, name of your church, name of your venue, um, whatever you want to call it. Just something you'll remember. You hit okay. And uh, we wait as it loads, starts everything up, uh, gets everybody connected. I can, I've got an M Touch connected right now, and so I'm sure it's saying, "Hey, you know, got that connected." Blah blah blah. Um, and uh, just wait a minute here, and we'll we'll see the main MPC screen. Awesome. So now that we got that loaded, um, you're gonna see a screen just like this. And um, I fast forwarded through it, but it but it does a bunch of things. And uh, you know, depending on how fast your computer um, or console is, it, it may take longer or slower. But anyways, um, it'll get through it, and you'll get a screen like this. First thing that we got to do um, before we start diving into all these cool windows and, and checking stuff out is we need to go to this nice blue dot right here. We need to click patch, right? Because we got to get our fixtures patched into the system. <clears throat> You're presented with a screen like this, and the first thing we're going to do is go down to this Commands tab, pop this out. Here we can do New Fixture um, to start from zero. And if you're familiar with lighting consoles, if you've worked with other consoles before, you'll see a number of uh, different options that you're probably used to for, for modifying fixtures later. We'll click New Fixture. We get this nice window that pops up. You can see here. Um, you can select your manufacturer. You got some alphanumeric, uh, you know, buttons. You can click here to go to different places, and uh, you can see, of course, Martin is highlighted because this console is made by Martin. Um, and I like their fixtures; they got a lot of good fixtures. But um, I'm going to go with Chavez here because that's what I have patched over on my other computer. And then I'm going to choose the Rogue. So I'm going to go to PQR here. R2 Wash. And so you see I selected that in this bank. And then the modes came up. I'm going to choose the 22 channel mode because that's what my fixtures are patched in. Um, but, you know, whatever mode you want to run the fixtures in, uh, you can choose that right here. And, and, of course, you know, with any lighting console, um, you really want to get this mode right. Make sure you get it right. Make sure it's what your fixtures are using. Because if you get it wrong, it's, you know, you're going to have to rework your patch later. And, and nobody wants to do that, especially if you've patched other fixtures and now you got to move all kinds of stuff around. So just pay extra special attention to that and, and make sure you get the right mode um, that your fixtures have. Then it's going to show you, hey, here's what the DMX profile is. And you can scroll through it. So if for some reason, um, you know, the modes have funny names and, and it doesn't match here, um, you can always pop out the manual, compare the DMX charts with uh, your fixture to what's here in Martin M series software, and you'll be good to go. And I'm going to click this auto patch button, and it doesn't go do anything yet. But we get this window. And so here it's telling us hey, this is the type you've selected. You can name it, 
Um, I usually don't name my fixtures, but I'm going to because um, we're doing a tutorial. So we'll call it LED wash. Uh, you can name whatever you want, name them by the position they're at, whatever. This is really just for your reference as you're programming and such. Uh, you'll see that as the name. And then the quantity, you can click here and you can click the up and down arrows or you can click here. You can type. You can see that changed in the command line, changed up here. Start ID. The ID, um, if you're not familiar, is basically how you're going to reference the fixtures um, when you're typing in the command line. And so I like to always do something consistent every time I make a show. And so whether that's, um, you know, a, a consistent numbering scheme, I what I like to do is turn this auto off. I'm going to put these at 301. Um, I always like to start each type of fixture at an 01, and that's something that was taught to me um, by a mentor. And, and it's a really good practice because then you know, hey, you know, I've got my dimmers at 1, then my first type of fixture at 101, my next type of fixture 201, next type of fixture 301, and, and you just keep going. Um, and, and it's really helpful because you're able to, you know, quickly and easily say, if you want to punch a fixture in the command line later, you just simply say, okay, I want the second wash. So what would that be? Okay, well, my washes are 300, and, and so 302, you know. And, and it's just quick, it's just easy, and, and as you do it consistently every time you set up a show, you won't have to think about it anymore. It'll just come really quick to you. Uh, universe, again, you can turn the auto off. You can switch the universe. You can leave the auto on, and that just selects the uh, next available universe with channels open on it, I believe. And then the address. I'm going to turn auto off just to show you. I'm going to address them at 1, but you can change the number here. Once again, you can click, you can type, or you can click over here um, in this really cool graphical um, interface, which is very nice. Again, shows you green um, and uh, the footprint. You can leave channel gaps there, which is really cool, so that if you've got like, oh, where have I used this before? Well, I've used this before. Um, if I have an LED fixture that's got a really funny personality, like it's just got this automated programs channel, uh, you know, um, and I don't have a profile for it, but say it's, you know, six channels or, you know, six, say it's, for the sake of this example, five channels, right? So it's an intensity, red, green, blue, amber fixture. And so I'm sure I have a profile in the generic section of this console. However, it has an extra channel, which is automated programs. And I don't want, I just don't want to touch that, right? And so it's easy to patch here because I can set this footprint to larger than my fixture by one. And then Martin's M-Series software is going to leave that gap in there for me. So that's, that's really something you're probably not going to use most of the time. Um, but it is there when, if you get in those funny situations where you're just like, you know, what in the world, how do I, you know, how do I do this? Um, or even you can do some, some fancy footwork, say you're patching a house rig and they literally, for some reason, you know, patch their washes and then, you know, and then say they patch wash spot, wash spot, wash spot. And so, you know, that the spots, you know, take up 20 channels in between each wash and so you could set this footprint for a 20 channel gap patch all these go back into the patch then you could set your spots in there 22 channel gap um, because that's how many channels this takes up and you'd save yourself a lot of time in number punching and so I'm gonna leave that on auto but that's what that does now I'm gonna hit apply to patch and I'm gonna wait a minute because I'm recording a video so this is lagging on my computer a little but you can see it's doing its business down there, and it pops up here. So we're almost done patching, but I just want to show you what you can do with this spreadsheet. It works like a lot of other consoles, but what you're able to do is um, say I want to change the ID. I can highlight multiple fixtures or just click and click on one like I just did. can highlight multiple fixtures. Boom. I can type, say I want these to be at 401. I can type out 401. You see it happening in the command line. Boom. Same thing, back to 301. And I can do that with the naming. 
Um, I can just change one or I can highlight. Say I highlight it up like this, it's going to do it backwards. So I could call this, I could say five. And now it says five, one, five, two, five, three, five, four. And it, you can see it's backwards. So I'm going to switch it back to LED wash. And again, the, the way the row that I highlighted them in, right? I highlighted them from top to bottom. And so it it did the numbering the way that I wanted to match the fixture ID. But you could select it opposite. You could type and it would do the opposite if you need to do that. Type over here. Again, you can change the type of fixture. You highlight that. This pops up, boom, I can change the mode. I can grab another fixture type out of the library. I can select it, and then I'm good to go. But I'm not going to do that here. Um, you select use fixture type when you're done, and you get out of there. Again, universe and address, just like um, everything else we went over. And then you can invert here. I can double click on that or highlight and double click, invert pan, tilt, swap pan, tilt. Um, Kind of the typical options you'd see if, for some reason, you had a fixture hung backwards or you walked into a house rig and you said, I just want to invert the tilt on all of these because that makes my brain not hurt so much. Um, whatever you want to do, you know, um, Martin's M-Series software has the ability to take care of that. And so, as for patching, um, that's pretty much all we got here. You can see over here we got this selection area. You can select by type when you've got a bunch of stuff patched. Um, helps you really see things better. You can go over here. Um, if you've imported fixtures, but you haven't patched them, um, if you've created, that is, you create the new fixture, but you haven't patched it, or, or maybe you've unpatched it at some point, you can go into here, into non-patch fixtures, grab them, tell them where you want them, and that's where they'll go. And so, um, at that point, that's pretty much all I got on patching. Um, gives you a good overview and so in our next video we're going to hit this magic button close patch boom we're going to go over here and i'm going to show you how in the world to to get started and to start to get your show up to, to set up your windows in order that you can get ready to make some amazing lighting so once again i'm david henry from learnstagelighting.com and if you haven't checked out the site i really invite you to do so and uh, can't wait to see you thanks